Well, Pirates, there may not be any snow on the ground, but we won't let that get us down. It's Friday, and it's time for another Pirate TV Friday Big Show. Since it's the first one after the holidays, here's the obligatory What Did You Do Over the Break video. Over my Christmas break, I hung out with Susan Anna. This Christmas break, I hanged out with Paul Paul Jenkins. <laughs> you know, fried some chicken nuggets at Wendy's, hung out with some friends. I got coal for Christmas. What's up? I got a bike for Christmas. <laughs> Every Christmas break, I spent a lot of time cooking and feeding people and having friends and family over and deciding what would go best with my pajama bottoms that I wore pretty much every day. This Christmas, I went back home to Southeast Texas and I stayed with my mom and I got to hang out with my little nephew. Look how cute he is. I opened Christmas presents. I went to New Orleans to visit family. It was so much fun. Mr. Strzok had all of his students make predictions for the new year. I predict that 2017 will be better than 2016. I predict that 2017 will be the best year ever. I predict that Clemson will win the national championship. 2017 will be fun. I predict that I will be receiving my high school diploma May 24th. America is going to become great again. The stars are going to the Stanley Cup. My goal in 2017 is to run a mile under 10 minutes. I predict that Donald Trump will be a great president. My prediction is that Valentine's Day will be on February 14th. I think there will be lots of fun. I will exempt my exams. This 2017, I predict that I will finish this coloring book. I predict that later on in 2017, the Pirates will make it to playoffs in football. My prediction for 2017 is that Donald Trump will be impeached. I predict that Donald Trump will do great things in 2017. I don't know what's going to happen this year, but I predict it's going to be a lot better than last year. A lot of good things might happen, a lot of bad things might happen too. I'm going to attempt to pass all my classes. In 2017, I predict that uh, I'll do another year of my junior year in high school. I predict that there will be better technology. I think 2017 is going to be a great year. I'm not going to be a junior anymore. My prediction is I will never be late to school and I will pass every one of my classes with an A. Dallas Cowboys. 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 Win the Super Bowl. Win the Super Bowl. Win the Super Bowl. I'll take a L. Prom is just around the corner, March 4th. I've heard at the Hella Temple on Lake Ray Hubbard. Since we don't know anything else about it, Kalia is here to help you get ready for some dancing. Here's Kalia. She's gonna teach ya. Teach me what? How to dance. My name is Kalia and this is my seven period class and we're going to teach you some dance moves for the prom that is coming up. So this first dance move is called the Molly Whoop. So this is what you do. You and you reverse that. Now y'all try that. Do one more to do. Okay, this is what you do. Are you a that's how you do it. Okay. The next dance is called that, that plié, right? Plié. Yeah. All right, it's called, this is what you do, you do like. <laughs> yeah, let's go for that. Okay. The next, the next dance move is called that, Beyonce. Beyonce. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, again, again. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. This last dance move is called that stomp that. You just, you just, you just do that. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Pirate of the week, pirate of the week, pirate of the week. Yeah. 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 Go, 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 go,
right, all right, all right. We are here with Miss Lewis this week. Oh gosh. Okay. She's our part of the week. She is always teaching bell to bell. She's always parting our kids with knowledge, and she's always willing to help out with staff presentations during conferences and meetings. That's why she's our part of the week. Yay! Thank you so much. Pow. Pow. Woo! All right. All right. All right. We're here with Miss Euchre this week. She's one of our parties of the week. She has gone from our life skills aid to now transitioning into the Play-Doh program. She's doing very well with helping our kids recoup their lost credits, and that's why she's our part of the week. Thank you. What did I say now? Pow! Woo! Party of the week. Party of the week. Party of the week. Yeah. Trevor has come up with a couple of videos. Lucky for us, he doesn't really have much of a life outside of work and school, or else he wouldn't have much to show today. Trevor, will you play with me? Why don't you ask the other five of us? Which one do y'all want to play with me? Me. Are you sure you can't? Your snake, you take it. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Today we'll be reviewing a bunch of random stuff. First thing, we have a tiny snake that was came out of his backpack. The snake is orange and slithery, you know, great for the family. Slithery, it's plastic though. Don't worry about it. Let's see, one thing about it, it's, uh, it's a choking hazard. Little kid gets this, they're probably out of those 50 cent machines, little kid could probably swallow this. You're not supposed to say that, this is a sponsored video. Sponsored video? Yes. Sponsored by who? I ain't getting paid. Alright, I'm sure it's somewhere. Ah! Made in China. Mm. USA can't even make a plastic snake. Next up is H2O. Eric, what do you think about water? It's essential. Can you elaborate on that? Well, you see, the human body needs water. Alright, fair enough. It has an expiration date. Oh, that's not good for water. All right, I'm gonna say like five dollars a pack. It's a pack of 48. No, 128. Oh my God, a pack of 128. And how much does that cost? Like ten dollars. For ten dollars, you get 128 of these bad boys. They're good for you. Drink more water. I like sliding it. Next thing Eric just pulled out of his backpack was a charging cable, and it's pretty nice. It's braided black. And it's got some silver. It's got a penguin on it. Yeah. It's got a penguin on it, and yeah, I mean, it looks pretty nice. It's not going to get tangled up too easily just because it's hard to wind up. I mean, not as portable just because the feeling is kind of gross. I don't like it, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, so this is like $5, you know, average, you know. All right, that's not bad. Micro USB cable, but after a few days of using, the micro USB cable messed up. It won't sync to the computer anymore. Not good. Cheap. Well, it was five dollars, sir. But it has a penguin on it. That makes it better. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> These amazing things are Bluetooth earbuds. A lot of y'all might see me in the hallways wearing these. You just hold down that button, it powers on, connects to your phone with ease. Very thin, flat wiring, and they're twenty-four dollars on Amazon. Anything you would like to say about these? These look like garbage to me. Thanks Trevor, don't be sad, you're doing a great job. Next up is something that will have you saying, here's another minute of my life that I'm never going to get back. Eighth period's video. <laughs> it's 
time I catch the whole dang thing. I don't think so. These idiots. It's fine. These idiots are being dumb. They're stupid. But you know, I'm about to make this shot. Oh, is this a you know, shot? this one, this this is because Mr. Struck, he said it was stupid. Well, I guess they showed me. That's the most intelligent video I've ever seen. Thanks. I guess Mr. Strug doesn't appreciate the hard work and long hours that Keelan puts in as he strives to become a professional bottle flipper. Oh well, that's all we got for this week. Check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to listen to chspiratereradio.com as well.